Okay, so we, um, we basically finished the last lecture talking about basically how to use your calculator properly, um, how to use that scientific notation. And we're just going to talk a little bit now about this concept of significant figures and decimal places. Okay? So in the context of your tutorial sheets, this is really important. Okay? Because getting the right answer is almost never enough. And that's not just because we were being really picky in, uh, about the maths. It's bit that we, um, uh, we also have to be, when, you, when, you're, when you're doing science, when you're writing reports, when you're collecting data and presenting it, that needs to be presented in the correct way. So you need to always think about what is the appropriate number of significant figures, okay, decimal places, and also units to your answer. Okay? So as part of this course, when you give an answer, if you don't have the correct number of significant figures or the units, you don't get all of the marks. Okay? So bear that in mind. Your teachers probably should go through that with you. Okay, so I mean, this is just, just a, a kind of trivial example. So pi is an irrational number. It has an infinite number of um, decimal places, or significant figures. Um, so the difference between significant figures and decimal places is that significant figures is the total number of numbers including those before the decimal place, and decimal places is just those after decimal place. Okay, uh, so I think we went through this uh, last time, that if you actually quote something to just two, just sorry, just one significant figure, that implies that you don't, you're not really that confident about the precision of that number, whereas, uh, so for instance, this one, this one could be kind of 1.5 to 2.49999 recurring, yeah. Um, whereas the, the, the one at the bottom is obviously most much closer to two. Okay, and this is those are, those are what that says there. Okay, um, and also yeah. So without without this kind of um, concept of how precisely we know a number, the number itself is essentially useless. Okay. Um, so I mean, I could say that I'm two meters tall. Okay. Plus, but without, without any kind of, I'm not two meters tall. Um, but without any kind of assessment of uncertainty, that number is completely useless. If you were like, designing me some trousers or something, it's not very good. Cool. So, uh, okay. So we're going to talk a little bit about rounding numbers up or down. Okay, and I want to set you a uh, a quick uh, test. So uh, this doesn't work, does it? Okay. So uh, the first one I want you to do is 6.2 1 times uh, 6. Okay, so can you uh, uh, let's, uh, let's just have a numeric answer. Okay, so if you could just like type in what you think. Um, but you can work through those, you know, look through the lectures and stuff in your own time on the, uh, 